Hey guys, welcome. My name is Tyson Vince with Airstream of Louisiana. Today I'm going to show you the Airstream 24X Interstate. This is Airstream's off-road package to where you can get out in the wilderness, more of an adventure van, if you will. It's still on the same Mercedes chassis, so the 188 horsepower, uh, 3.0 liter Mercedes engine. With the 24X, you can only get it in silver. They do an exterior silver, but they come in and rhino line the bottom quarter panel. If you're running down the road and a rock pops up and hits this, this quarter panel, it's not gonna chip the paint. It's gonna give you a little bit lasting protection. You're also gonna see the more rugged step, get in and out the van. It's gonna also protect the van. Across the front, you're gonna see they upgraded the wheels and tires. They went with a GFX uh, 20, uh, 16 inch wheel. Uh, and that's for 2024. This is the new wheel that they're using. And they're also, along with the uh, Firestone Destination all-terrain tire. So give you a little bit more grip going down the road. Now, as we move back a little bit, one of the coolest features, I think, of the 24X is the built-in LED lights up top. So we've got two LED lights up top. We've got one big LED light bar across the front, two more scare lights across the back to give your campsite a really well-lit area. We've also got the large awning all the way across the full length of the van that is completely armless, so there's no arms to pop down. Um, it does have wind sensors built into it, so if the wind picks up, um, it will automatically retract itself and won't damage anything on the awning. There's also a switch we can turn on and all we've got built-in LED lights throughout the awning. One of the features you're only gonna see on the 24X is this table, which can double as a table right outside, but it can also be brought inside and used behind the driver's seat, um, just to give you a little bit of extra space to put things on. As we walk to the rear, again, they rhino lined all the compartments here. We've got our hookup for our LP, where if you bring an outdoor pit grill or griddle, it can uh, be plugged right into that LP outlet. As we move down a little bit, we're gonna get a 110 plug. And we also have another port, which you're curious probably what that port is for. That is for an external uh, solar panel. But this fan is equipped with uh, three solar panels on the roof. One of them is 100 watts of solar, and that's strictly going to the chassis battery. Uh, the other two, the other 300 watts, you got two 150 watt panels, are both going to the house battery, the coach batteries. Now, what batteries does it have in it? It's got the lithium, it's got two 100 amp lithium batteries in this van. So, this van is designed to where if you pulled up next to a lake or you had a camp, oh, campsite off the beaten path where you didn't have 110 power and you necessarily didn't want to run your generator, uh, you can run the lights in this van, you can run the awnings, you can run you know, everything but the air conditioner for a long period of time off of just those two lithium batteries. As we make our way to the rear of the van, you're gonna see it's a, a t your typical Mercedes, but again, they rhino line the rear bumper. They also put a seven-way plug and a um, hitch on the rear that is capable to tow up to 5,000 pounds and give you about 500 pounds of tongue weight. So if you wanted to mount a pod or something on the back, we can, it can handle an additional 500 pounds. As we come to the roadside, you're gonna see here again, another port for um, additional uh, solar. You're also gonna be, see your smart plug. So this is a 30 amp coach. As you can see, the smart plug is actually snapped, snaps in and clips and holds in into place. One thing Airstream's really known for is really doing a neat, clean job of everything that they do. So as you can see, everything's color coordinated. So you've got some compartments down low, which are uh, an outside shower. So it comes with a, a little nozzle. You can clip in with a quick connect, come out, it's a hand sprayer, turn your water on and off. But notice how they did everything they rhino lined. Now, where is your sewer system? You're probably asking. It's got a complete macerator pump, pulls out and this is where you'll dump your sewer is through the macerator. It also is hard to see, but you've got a built-in uh, water inlet, which is strictly for flushing out the, uh, the black water tank. All that's in this hidden compartment. As we come up to the top, we can see inside of this compartment, you're gonna get the black and gray valve uh, to where you can open and close your valve. So I just closed the gray valve. Now, since the light's off, both valves are now closed. Um, we've got a wastewater retractable reel. So if I pulled that reel out, I could hit a button and it rolls it right back in. 
You, it is a macerator, so you do have to turn it on by just flipping that switch. That macerator will come on. You've got a couple lights and then a cable inlet all built into this complete compartment. And the last compartment you're gonna see on the curbside is going to be for hooking up water. We're gonna hook up, we can hook up our fresh water if we're set up at a campground where we have constant water pressure. We can hook it into this inlet and we can say, hey, are we dry camping? Is it time to fill the tank? or are we hooked to city water just by turning this valve quickly. Built into both mirrors on the uh, Mercedes chassis is side view cameras. Uh, now this is going, this is something that uh, is gonna give you a side shot down the side of the, the RV as you're, you're rolling down the road. Across the front, we've got uh, everything of course is Mercedes silver and then all the black plastic trim and then everything again sprayed. Airstream uses their own spoiler down in the front and the LED lights that we talked about up at the top give this van a really good aggressive look. Part of the part of the fun and part of the experience is driving and driving the Mercedes van is very very comfortable. A Mercedes redesigned their chassis back in 2019 and we've been loving this chassis. It's going to give you a much bigger screen. We go to a 10.25 inch screen. Uh, everything's easy to touch, everything's touch screen. I love that they gave you two places to put phones so they don't go sliding out, they kind of angle down. Um, as you can look down below, we've got all of our air conditioner controllers and a button right in the middle which will open and close our sliding door so we don't have to jump out and let people out or we've got guests that need to get out by pushing a button quickly, we can let them out. We've got the start stop button and which most people love and once they have can't live without is adaptive cruise. So this van, once you set the cruise, will slow the van down if someone pulls in in front of you, um, kind of breaks you, if you will, a little bit. Uh, the van is equipped with wireless charging and a couple ports mounted up here in the front that will give you USB uh, C plugs, which is going to be the newest USB C. Uh, we've got cup holders everywhere. They replace the rear view mirror with a monitor and that's where that is tied to your side view camera. So as you put your blinker on, you're gonna see going down the road, you're gonna see the fact that uh, you can see vans on, or vehicles on both sides of you, so you don't run a risk of getting into an accident. Everything else is typical Mercedes. You still get your power seats with uh, memory settings. You get heated seats on both the driver and passenger seat. You get a little a rubber mat across the front to kind of keep out some of the trash. And the last thing is Airstream takes Mercedes seats and completely recovers them. Gives you a little bit of leg extension, but notice all the, the double, the, the kind of quilted, if you will, uh, stitching. You're gonna see that a lot of times in high-end cars. I like the two-tone, but the, the leather is very soft, a lot softer than what you're gonna see in a lot of vehicles. And Airstream logos their, their name in all the seats. The only way to get the 24X is to get it in four-wheel drive. They're not gonna option it in a two-wheel drive option. Um, we think in the future sometime we'll see it in an all-wheel drive, um, but right now it's only in a four-wheel drive. We do, if you notice down low, they're going to put a hill descent and just a button you can quickly pop it into four-wheel drive. Uh, so if you are kind of taking it off the beaten path, you've got it right at the touch of your button. Put it right into four-wheel drive and go. Up above the driver's head, you're going to see a, a Fusion radio. It's got built-in Bluetooth. It'll run your sound system, everything into the rear of the coach. So you're going to have a Two, two speakers up in the front that we're going to use from the Mercedes head, but then in the, for the back we're going to use the Fusion uh, radio, sunglass holder, several lights, uh, dome lights and different things across the top. As we make our way to the back, you can see they put the, uh, the kitchen or the galley on the uh, curbside, which is, a, I mean, this is a lot of countertop space. So if you are prepping, you're out there cooking, uh, you do have a sink, all stainless steel bowl, sprayer, pull-out sprayer, a little more modern contemporary fixtures. We've got a two-burner suburban uh, gas stove for cooking. And then you can see below, we've got storage in all these compartments. We've got some pull-out storage below the countertop. We've got a fork and knife uh, and spoon, drawer, arranger, organizer. Notice when we push everything back, put it and we can lock it with the push of a button. And what that's gonna do is now coming down the road, you cannot get this cabinet open once that compartment is in there and locked. They use heavy duty latches and all slow close 
put it in, lock it. Got more storage all underneath the countertop. They did a great job of just really giving you a lot of storage. Now, if we look over the, the galley countertop, we've got more storage up top. Again, Airstream uses all heavy duty hinges. Got an overhead microwave as your, as your cooking substance. And then across from the kitchen is where your bathroom, shower, toilet combo is a one piece fiberglass tub. It's got a hand sprayer that can pull out. It's also got a mirror built into it and you can wash your hands and you can also use that same nozzle for showering, drain in the bottom and then your toilets mounted there as well. So you, it's what we call a wet bath, but still has plenty of room for, for a bigger guy to get in there and, and shower and use the restroom as well. Again, across from the large galley area, we've got a two, which you don't see this a lot in a lot of small vans, is such a large refrigerator. Small fridger, refrigerator on top with a pull-out freezer drawer in the bottom. It's all 12 volt and all stainless on the exterior. Our large pantry, which also can double as a um, hanging storage, so if you didn't necessarily need so much food storage. As you keep going towards the front, you're gonna see this is where your command center is. So you can start and stop your generator from here. You can turn on your heated tanks. Inverter controller is here. You can check your levels on your battery, your fresh water, your gray water, black water, and LP gauges. It's also a controller for your solar panels. So we can see where, if it's charging, how it's working. All the Airstream larger vans, the, the ones on the 170 inch wheelbase, are gonna come equipped with VB Air Ride. And as you can see, the, the controller is right behind the driver's seat. And there's really nothing you have to do to that controller, but if you did need to lower the van down a little bit, maybe to get someone in the step, that's possible. Um, but other than that, that is fully automatic. So it's, it's basically two large airbags over the rear axles to help with some of the bounce and take out some of that road bounce um, and give you just a smoother ride as you travel down the road. All right, so as we're into the rear of the van, you can see it opens up really wide, but this is really designed if you wanted to mount your, you wanted to put some bicycles in here or a kayak or something large, got a lot of room. Um, we've also, if you notice across the floor, you're gonna see that there's some black covers. Now these covers can be removed and there's uh, airline track mounted in all four of these strips on the floor. And then if you look on the wall, you can see that we've got it mounted here and here. And then if we look up on the ceiling, we've got it mounted in three places on the ceiling. Uh, now, so what that's good for is a couple things. One, if we wanted to take this cabinet completely out, I can just by removing these quick latches, get them out. Or if you have something that you needed to strap down, you can strap onto these and take these out and strap something down, strap the bikes down, uh, strap anything you want across this, uh, these airline tracks. Uh, just gives you a lot of versatility in what you're gonna do with this van. Of course, you can see that it's, it's two large benches across from each other. We've got uh, four seat belts, two on each side, and all this does come into a bed. So we can, we can pull the cushions together uh, and make it all into one large bed. As we see down low in the 24X, you can see we've got a um, battery disconnect, which is mounted down low, pretty easy to access though at any time. We've got some 110 plugs and you see this track it's actually on both sides. And this is uh, for an uh, extra table, so we could just slide into the track, give us a table, so now it gives us two extra eating spaces you know, in the rear of the van. It's also where we mount our complete charger and breaker, 110 breaker and 12 volt fuses are all mounted in this compartment. The floor is finished out in a, uh, a durable spray, almost like a rhino line, if you will, that uh, is gonna protect this, this vehicle from any mud or anything. It's gonna be very easy to clean. So Airstream's really thought of everything, so they know this is an adventure van. They give us plugs everywhere, also 12 volt plugs, so if you want to plug in a compressor or something, you've got it here. Docking light switch, so again, we've got the rear lights up top. We can quickly turn them on and off from this back uh, spot. And then on the other side, we've got a spray port. So it, again, I showed you we've got one on the side. We've also got one in the rear. So if you have a bike or something you need to spray off very quickly, very easy to access. So that's the Adventure Van by Airstream Interstate 24X. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please call us at Airstream of Louisiana. Uh, again, my name's Tyson, and thanks for watching.